All right, so this is one of the great weekends of college football rivalry week. We'll get into the South Carolina showing and what uh, we can all expect here in just a second. But uh, let's look back at uh, what is uh, Clemson's best and most complete performance of the year. So whether some people wanted to go offense uh, on the Wake side, other people believed in defense on the Clemson side, uh, Clemson was able to uh, open it up on offense and put some points on the board. Yeah, going in, I was pretty confident Clemson's defense, you know, could keep Wake's offense in check, and they absolutely did that. I mean, Wake couldn't do anything on the ground. They hit a few plays in the passing game. I think Hartman ended up with over 300 yards in there. But, you know, that defense came out, set the tone on the very first play of the game, got a sack. I think they had four sacks in the first quarter. I mean, just, just really set the tone. Frustrated Sam Hartman all day long. I mean, and it was obvious he, he was – visibly frustrated at times the, the surprise to me was on the offensive side of the ball we've not seen Clemson have a complete game like that all season long you know the offense the offensive line did something they hadn't done all season long they controlled the line of scrimmage and and it made all the difference in the world you know Clemson ran for 330 something yards had two guys go over 100 yards of Kobe Pace Will Shipley and um and they didn't ask DJ Uyunglele to do a whole lot. You know, he was just asked to manage the game, you know, make himself respected in the running game. He had a couple carries that were effective, so they had to account for him. And But to me, it all goes back to that offensive line. You know, they, they controlled the line of scrimmage, and that was the difference in the game. When you can uh, run it 54 times and only have to throw it 20 and 19 out of your quarterback, Will Shipley, threw a pass as well for a touchdown, then that's pretty much indication that uh, the offensive line, you can lean on them and uh, that they were controlling the game. Uh, the defense, uh, again, as you mentioned, Wake Forest, full of firepower, and you're going to give up some points, but they didn't give up many points until they were way out in front. Yeah, that um, <clears throat> we kind of been waiting for it all season long. You know, the strength of this Clemson offense has definitely been the running game with, with DJ's um, accuracy issues and his struggles, you know, adjusting to the full-time role. And, and But we Clemson's just not been able to gain any traction, any consistency. You know, they get a little bit of something going. Somebody on the offensive line gets hurt. One of the running backs gets hurt. It's just one thing after another. And against Wake, you know, they had Will Putnam back over there at right guard, allowed them to move Trotter back to center. And it, and it made a difference, you know, that they set Will Shipley and Kobe Pace out for the UConn game to ensure that they were fully rested and as healthy as possible against Wake. And, and I thought they both looked like they had fresh legs. They, they Wake just didn't have an answer for that running game. And, you know, they, they didn't need – they didn't have to rely on DJ to go out and win the game. And I thought, you know – I thought it made a difference. He, he looked more comfortable in the pocket. Still had some off-target throws. You know, he's playing with a splint on one of his fingers. He's got a bad tendon on his one of his fingers on his throwing hand. I, I it's going to affect his accuracy some. He was already having accuracy issues, but they just didn't have to rely on him to win the game for him. And to me, that's that's the recipe for success for this Clemson team: run the ball, run the ball, and run it some more. <laughs> 